So things have changed a lot. I'm going to tell you guys what's not selling, what's selling, and the overall state of the current watch market. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is actually what's not selling or slow in the market. The watches that we've got here and the watches that we're seeing in the marketplace, the appetite has actually slowed down. There's not many people out there for these particular watches or they're trying to buy them under RRP. So the first ones I want to touch on are the solid gold pieces. So what do I mean by that? They're really, really big heavy hitters. So we're going to talk about the full gold sky dwellers. So they come on the, the rose gold, the yellow gold, and the white gold. So the first one I look at is the rose gold here. So I'm going to give you an example. This particular one here, just to give you an idea, it's the full 18 karat gold rose gold chocolate dial. Absolutely stunning watch. The RRP on this is 42,950, I think somewhere around there. We've actually got this advertised for a thousand pound over RRP. This is what I'm saying with regards what watches you've been offered from your IDs and also the appetite on the market. This is one for us that is a slow seller. We actually had a client come collect one last week. He bought the rhodium dial. But for me, it's kind of like one of those watches that we've definitely seen a drop off. There's been a different in trends, there's been a different in the way that you guys are buying. Most guys, if they're wanting precious metal, they're going to the Oyster Flex range. They're not choosing the full gold. It's just one of those watches that maybe, you know, because of the current climate and obviously the way the world is, that maybe it may not be that popular just in the current climate. So that's definitely one for you guys out there. That's definitely one that we're seeing as a slow seller. The other ones are things like the Oyster Flex range in the Sky Driller, touching other videos, definitely under this watch, but definitely we've seen slow down just purely because the RRP is so high on that watch. The RRP is anywhere from 35 to 36K. We're seeing them on the open market, anything from sort of like 25 to 30K for us to buy in and sell. So what does that tell you about the current market on these particular ones? They're definitely slowed down. The full gold Daytona range, again, another one. Unbelievable watches. We've got one here. In fact, we've got two here. This is the black dial one, full 18 karat rose gold. This is the Sunder style. I don't know if you guys can see that one there. Uh, full 18 karat rose gold. Again, the market slowed down, not as much appetite in the market. Our clients are going to the Oyster Flex range. So we've actually got like a chocolate one here, just to give you guys an idea. So that's the chocolate one there. So yeah, definitely that's where our clients are spending their money. We're not seeing as many people, you know, coming through. And you've got to remember for the way the market is, which is why I'm talking about how the market's changed. These were like, you know, 55,000 pounds recently. This one in particular, the Sundust, that was way over 50K. You know, the chocolate dial in this particular combination was 60K. You know, it's absolutely madness to see where the market is, but definitely, I mean, they're back to where they should be. Maybe there's a bit more to go, which is important for you guys. So unless you really like that watch, I'm bearing in mind that there may be a bit more room for this to go down. If you like it, you should always buy it, but just be careful because like I said, this is where the market is quite soft on these particular models. I've also got the Oyster Flex range, another range. This is the Yacht Master. I've got a rose gold one here. This one actually we've got advertised, I think it's like £1,000 over list or £750 over list, I think. RRP on this is 24250 So yeah, again, the RRP, in my opinion, is too high on this watch, which is why we've marked it just over and covered this in other videos. You know, it's under this watch for us to buy just a round list or just over. That's definitely one that's slowed in the market just purely because of the way it's priced and the price point in the current market. Uh, and this is another really good example this particular one here this is definitely slowed down but we bought this in at such a great price and we're selling it way under our rp so this is an indication of what is we're classing as a slow seller it's the yacht master 42 mil white gold oyster flex really nice watch actually the rrp on this is 25.6 we've got this advertised like 24k it's brand new unworn what i'm trying to say to you guys is unless they are priced right in the market these particular models they are not selling unless we are literally putting them online as the cheapest in the world or certainly the cheapest in the UK, we will not sell the watch and we're mindful of that. So when we're buying in, we will stock, still stock all these models as you can see. We will still buy all these models, but we have to market them at a price where literally the client cannot say no, they're getting the best deal possible. These are watches that are definitely, definitely slow sellers. So it actually is a buyer's market if you can go to the grey. Another one that I want to talk about is the Full Rose Root Beer. You know, one of your favourites out there. Really, really nice watch. Full 18 karat rose gold. The RRP on that's around 35. We can buy them under list. We can actually sell them round about list or just under. They've definitely slowed down. We're selling pre-owned ones for way under 30k. So that's another one that's slowed down. You know, all the models I'm covering here, I'm not saying there's nothing you know, appealing about these models. I'm just saying the way the market is regarding the appetite not being there and they definitely have slowed. Another one to talk about, I like the pre-ceramic Daytona. It's one of my all-time favorites. I've actually got one in the cabinet here. So this is a pre-ceramic. This is actually a fully stickered, early fully stickered, 2000, I think eight or nine. You know, if anybody offered us a fully stickered watch, we would absolutely jump up and down to buy a fully stickered watch. We were well known within the industry for selling fully sealed ones. We still have clients and collectors that play the long game that still buy them. But at that particular time, you know, this particular watch here, 
year. You know, quite an early one. Very rare to see a fully stickered in the early 2000s. It's more of like a 2000 sort of 14 to 2019, 20. So very rare. But these have just like slowed down so much. And it, you know, it's such a crazy thing to think that I was selling these, you know, over 30k plus. But now they're actually, you know, they're well in the 20s. You know, this one I think is like 26, 27. Again, really collectible watch. But it's just the market has changed so much that we we do get appetite for clients, but they're actually buying to wear. So this where well, this was a very collectible watch. Our new client now is buying to wear. And a good example was that, you know, I had a client come in the other day, he had the Platinum Daytona fully stickered, came in, done a deal with somebody he knew, wanted to wear it, and it's like, how much am I gonna lose on that watch? So I'm like, well, 10% if you de-sticker it, it would just de-sticker it. So if any of you guys follow any of our social media, you see I actually put a video out there. So yeah, you get to see that, and we actually de-stickered a Platinum brand new and worn Daytona and that's the way the market is now so that's really important for you guys to know that you know the actual people that came into the industry before so these new dealers that came into the industry just purely for money the new buyers that came into the industry last year that drove all the prices up you know they've now actually gone away so what we're now seeing is the buyer that's yeah he's buying to invest but actually buying to wear for his daily and this client of mine he actually is going to daily a platinum Daytona and he de-stickered it so what does that tell you about the market so the next part of this video, I want to touch on what is in high demand, what are we getting asked for, what are we selling, and what are you guys out there ringing us and trying to buy. So the, the most popular ones I want to discuss first are obviously the steel sports professionals. So they can be the Submariner Day, the Submariner No Day. They can be the GMT, so obviously the Batman, Batgirl, the Pepsi Oyster, the Pepsi Jubilee. We're actually sold out of all those watches we sold out last week. You know, these are the ones that you guys are picking up the phone. They're the ones that we're seeing you guys actually buying again your dailies but they are in such high demand and when we get them in we're pretty much selling the same day we're absolutely flying with the steel sports another thing that's actually selling out there in steel sports you know are the starbucks again they i mean they're just like i think i've got one in here actually yeah so they're just like i think that's like 14k that's a brand new and warm one you know you got to think that was like 18 I think it was way over 20k actually last year, somewhere around there. So that's like like 14k for a brand new one. If you imagine, so the normal steel submariner day is like we sell those for 12,950. This is advertised for 13,950. I think it's a 2020, so fair play. But the actual brand new and warm 2023s, we only sell for 14,950, so it's 2,000 pound more. So if you guys out there wanting that you know uplift from a standard sub that's something and that's definitely something that you guys are pulling trigger on so we're seeing the appetite for that one let's have a look here the sprite i'll tell you that's another one actually that's something this right here that's one that we've seen dropped off actually that's one that definitely we were selling those literally only three or four weeks which is why it's really important that we do these monthly market updates it's really important to give you the guys this information because we sold a brand new one for 21k we sold an oyster one which i think was like 20k brand new this is a 2023 lightly used literally brand new there's not a mark on it they've got advertised like 17 18k and there's no interest in it so what does that tell you so we're possibly going to have to reduce this to sell it so it's just finally found its level in the market so that's another one that you know for you guys out there that are looking for something you know that's a real good buy in the current market but again because it's on that slightly down slope that could go a bit more before it actually goes back up again so you know it's whether you're willing to take that risk whether you're willing to buy you know to take that risk to buy it so that's definitely one that slowed down so what else are you guys so the blues is you know the blues is the all-time one of my all-time favorites the blues here you know you're we're definitely getting a lot of calls for these we sold one last week to a client that's actually collecting in a month's time we put another one live on the website yesterday this particular one here literally sold it within two hours online the client's actually collecting this afternoon once we've finished all our filming so yeah that's definitely one for you guys that's on the list the blues here very very popular watch and one of my all-time favorites so the ruby that's one that's definitely slowed down for you guys so just to give you an idea then with 25 grand last year they're now about anywhere between 17 17 5 so that's definitely one that's slowed down really nice watch really popular obviously like i said you know the appetite has just dropped off that just slightly in the current market Okay. The Sea Dweller 43, I'll tell you what, this is a watch that is in high demand at the minute. This is the Sea Dweller 43, 43 millimeters. It's the red, the anniversary one. A lot of appetite for this. We can get a brand new one in, we'll sell straight away. We'll get a pre-owned one in, we'll sell straight away. Really, really popular. RRP on that's 11,150. We're selling these brand new for 13,450. We're selling the pre-owns for like 12K. So, I mean, it's absolutely crazy to think, but that is a lot of watch for the money and very popular. They actually do the other version, which is the steel and gold. We've had one of those in, literally sold it the same day. RRP, 14, 15 grand, we sold it, I think just under RRP literally went out the same day another one that you guys are sort of asking for quite a lot is the pandas so this is actually this is actually 2020 late 21 panda absolutely mint like brand new we've sold quite a few of the 2023s recently getting a lot of inquiries for them because they've been the last production year this one here is a 2021 so it's probably going to be bought by a client who's going to actually buy it to wear one that obviously was looking at last year it was 
35, 40, 45 K. You know, now he's talking these in the twenties. It's crazy to think that that's in, in the 20 Ks, but actually is. So some of you guys out there, we're definitely getting the calls for those. That's definitely a popular watch at the minute. So this watch here is a, is a really good one for you guys out there. And definitely, definitely we've got the interest in. So this is the 18 karat white gold blueberry, the Submariner date. We've actually sold four of these in the last sort of four or five weeks. The RMIP on this is around 35, 36K. We get you guys out there ringing us all the time saying, I've been offered it for my AD, should I buy them? I'm like, no, don't buy it. The reason is because you can go to the pre-owned market, go to a great market dealer like me and buy this from between 31 and 31.5. We've sold all four that we've sold between 30 and 31K to give you an idea. And like I said, the appetite for them is really, really big. And you can see why, because they're a stealth, really stealthy wealth, and you can wear that as a daily. Only people who know, know what that actual watch is, which is why our clients actually buy it. What else we're seeing a good appetite for at the minute? The steel and gold Daytonas, one of my all-time favorites. This is the probably second favorite dial. The most favorite is the white. So that's a really, really popular watch. RRP in the 16s. We're selling these between 20 and 22K, depending on the dial. A combination, again, much higher prices last year. A lot of appetite for those. A lot of people that are actually requesting that. I'm actually seeing more ladies wear these. So like I said before, become more of a unisex watch. Black dial, I'd say probably more for a gent. The white dial, definitely a unisex watch. So yeah, a lot of appetite for that in the current market. Another range that I want to touch on is the Date Just 31 range. A lot of you guys out there buying it for your other half. We've actually sold three Date Just 31s in the last week. We've got three different ones. We've got the Blue Zero Diamond, stunning watch. We've got Pink Diamond, really nice watch. And we also got the Mint Green that got sold yesterday. So all in stainless steel, all Jubilee, all fluid. Covered these in all my other videos. They are the best combination. Then it's just dial choice. We actually have a 31 mil here. This is the 31 mil Presidential Date Just. This has got the Factory Mother of Pearl Diamond Dot Dial one of one dials, everyone unique to each watch. Then we've got the fully 18 karat factory diamond set bezel. That's a really stunning watch. So you guys out there, you're definitely seeing the value in the mid size. It's definitely the size, the go-to size for ladies now. And then obviously they can go up to 36 or 41. The Daytonas are probably maxing out at 40. Very, very popular watch. In fact, I had a lady call me yesterday. She's looking to buy this particular Sundust team, looking to buy exchange a 36 million deed day just. So we're gonna try and put a deal together for, for her. So yeah, that's definitely one that you guys are pulling the trigger on. And finally, obviously I do have to cover this particular range. And it is the Oysterflex Daytona. Love, love, love this range. We We've had so many in. We are literally selling a ghost as soon as they come in. You guys are ringing us up. You're telling us that you're wanting to be put on the books. We're actually taking numbers. As soon as they come in, they're getting sold, sold off the website. We're actually selling them before they could go live on our website. We've actually got another one in, literally arrived this morning. Brand new one, 2019. Gonna go live on the website, 35 grand. I've actually got another one coming in tomorrow, a brand new 2021 one. And I've got another one coming in on Monday, another brand new 2022 one. That's three like within a week. And we will have sold these. I'd be very surprised if they're not all sold by the end of next week. That's how popular they are. Obviously the Stealth Wealth as well, which obviously we have touched in other videos, extremely stealthy and a go to watch for a lot of you guys out there looking for that really special, you know, daily. Then we've got the, I'm gonna use the Newman, but we've actually got the Pikachu. I don't wanna use mine, because obviously I do talk about my watch quite a bit, but it's actually that one. We had one in yesterday, client fly up from London, came to collect it, bought it, stayed in the local hotel, bought it, gone back down yesterday, and we've got another one coming tomorrow, another brand new Pikachu. So yeah, the one that I actually wear here. So just to give you an idea, people have realized the actual beauty and the desirability of these. They are extremely highly sought after. There's not many on the marketplace. You know, they are very, very rare. They are the best dial for me personally, other than the Meteorite, which I still think this is a better dial than the Meteorite. And you guys are definitely getting, giving us the calls, definitely pulling trigger. And when we get one in, we either have somebody on the books or we sell them the same day online. That's how much you guys are chasing that watch. We are definitely seeing the appetite in the, in the market for you guys buying out there. You know, there is a potential that whatever you buy could still go down. So you have to bear that in mind. That's not saying that you guys out there are still pulling trigger, because you are, but it's definitely a different marketplace. It's definitely a better place for it. And overall, the marketplace will be a far better place and a better place for you guys to actually buy, own, enjoy, and actually wear your watches, which is what this industry is all about. So it's very important for you guys to know that obviously the, the quickening out in the market to make money them times have gone, them times have changed. The same for the dealers, same for the investors that came in. It's now a buyer's market, buyer to wear market, and it's a much better place for it. So for you guys out there, you know, you should be going out there and buying your dream watch. Just make sure you choose your dealer wisely. Mm -hmm.